I did the hole in one method for a moment. Um, did Michael play golf? I played it. Okay, you played it. Okay, all right. Well, did I seriously play golf with the two? Okay, all right. Okay. Well, anyway, golf takes a whole lot of practice. Okay, it's one of the most difficult sports to play because you've got to practice <coughs> the swing just perfect. But it takes some steps and a lot of work. Um, so basically, what this method is is, and this was mentioned in the book. Learners perform at their peak when they're given a formula for success. So we all learn better with formulas. That's why they give us those in algebra and math. And uh, you know, when we're learning about finances, there's always a formula to figure out um, a certain number to get to a certain number. Um, and it helps us kind of follow along. It's like steps that guide us. So what this method's basically doing is you're learning a skill, and then you're practicing that skill, and you practice it enough to where you'll be perfect at it. That's the kind of the goal of this method. As you can see, this guy is practicing his golf swing. You get a hole in one, that's impossible almost, but it happens. Uh, okay, yeah, step by step. You know, look, look, new kids on the block, step by step. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, but this strategy exercise is practice, okay? So we all do better when we practice a skill repetitively, right? Um, the same way with formulas. So. Here's a bunch of different formulas down here. Um, and formulas help us to like visually picture what we're doing. So when we have a formula in math, I know I hate math and formulas don't help me that much anyway. But still, they help me visualize and have like visualize practicality in the lesson so it's not just a bunch of numbers. Um, they guide you along so you can find out the answer. Yeah, I like office memes. I love the office. False practice makes perfect. Not true. Okay, so how does this method work? How do we see this in the classroom? Um, first of all, if I'm the teacher, I'm going to demonstrate a skill. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to learn about tying a tie. Um, so I would demonstrate tying the tie. Then I would allow you all, from watching me demonstrate how to tie the tie, to visualize in your mind how you do it. And that's kind of, and you picture it in the steps. I'm going to give you steps for whatever I'm teaching. And you're going to visualize those steps. And it helps you to visualize that and do it yourself. Um, allow your student to rehearse or practice what you just showed them. That's the big key in this thing, is you doing it over and over again until you get it right. Um, and then the student will perform what they learned. And that's when they show what they know. You know. So, yeah, and this is this is a broad like if, if for I guess for our purpose if we're teaching ag things like a lot of shop things where it's hands on a lot of skills that you learn in the shop like welding uh, if you do that over and over again and practice it you get better at it and eventually your students can be really really proficient welders um, but it also works with painting drawing dancing dancing is a real good example because you're showing somebody the steps when you're dancing and eventually they put the routine all together and it works. Um, but yeah, so you get better and better and better. Today we're going to learn how to tie a tie. Oh yeah, alright, so these are the steps. Alright, I need some volunteers. Who wants to tie a tie? I know there's only girls in here today, but your bonehead husbands aren't going to know how to tie a tie either. So we should probably figure it out. Should I stand up or should I sit down? There's a, several different knots, huh? You can do whatever you want. Uh, there's several different knots. I like the half ones because it's the easiest one. Uh, so, right. who wants one? Okay. Tie for you. Who wants one? All right. Too bad. That's on. Right. Okay. So, we're gonna bring it around town. First of all, this isn't in the steps. See how I'm doing this? Your small hand on your left side, big hand on your right side. Okay? <laughs> the trick is, because if you do this, if you start like this, and you do this, the, the small hand is going to hang out the bottom. <laughs> so you have to get the balance right. And I like to start probably right here. So about like, yeah, like that. Okay, so what you're going to do is, <laughs> what you're going to do is bring it around town. Bring it around town. SpongeBob, you yeah, Put that on there. Okay, so you take this in and you're going to wrap it 
all the way around the small end to where this end's facing like this. And you're going to take your other finger and you're going to hold that. Okay? Okay. <laughs> bring it up. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Yeah, bring the, bring the big end all the way around the front. There you go. All right, all right. All right, next step is you're going to go through the loop. Okay, see your big end right here? You're going to come up through this big loop right here. So bring it up to this loop to where it's hanging down like this. Oh, God, she's trying. I'm not. You're right. You're actually, you're a step ahead, actually. Okay, you're going to go down the rabbit hole, which is this little hole right here. You see this where I pinched the front? This, like, pocket right here? You're going to stick this, this big end, down in that pocket. And you're going to pull it through. I think Anna already knows how to tie tie. I already know how to tie tie too, so it's all good. Come on. Come on, guys. We're already prepared. Very impressive. All right. You're going to pull it through. Pull it tight. You just going to have a little brother. And you're going to pull the small end. Pull the small end. <laughs> God, I, I'm shocked. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now how so do you get it off? That's how you do it, huh? I just pull it. You take the small end and you pull it like oh, this. Okay. Okay. Y'all do it. Undo your tie. And do it again. Again? And ask for help. All the FFA kids used to like line up. I know. That's why I know how to tie. I like tie one. Tie. It's kind of sad. You'll bring it around. Down the rabbit hole, pull it tight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one is a little harder on yourself. <laughs> okay. Did I do it right? I don't think I did it right. I don't think I did it right either. I did it right, but it looks like I mean, you, you tied it. It's just a little bit of the same one I taught you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you did it. That one's a tough one to tie because that one's like, there's no, it's not sperm at all, so it just bends. Ah, yeah. It's a little silly. Okay. That's kind of close enough, right? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, no, it's not. Look at that. It doesn't matter. You got the, you got okay, the tie. I got it, so. I got it. I got it. I got the main point of it. Did you? No. Oh. You look down. You want to try it? Bring it around. Bring, Bring it around town. Bring it around town. All right. Down the rabbit hole. Pull it through. Pull it through. There you go. Okay, so that's how you tie the tie. Good job. That was a little, yeah. a little disappointing because they're all going to tie it up, but you know, okay. it's all right. So those are the steps. That's how the method works. You just work and work on something until you perfect it. That's, that's what this uh, method is. There's my first step. Done.